Um, I would like to call the, to order the February the 4th, 2021 meeting of the Johnson City Senior Center Foundation. We are meeting electronically pursuant to Executive Order 71 issued by Governor Bill Lee. This board is not meeting in a physical location in order to protect public health, safety, and welfare. This meeting is being recorded and will be available to the public via the city's YouTube page, accessible at johnsoncitytn.org slash meetings, no later than two business days from the date of today's meeting. Okay, I think I did what I was supposed to do. So uh, now that I've called the meeting to order at 12.03, Fred's uh, um, joining us now. I will let Deb um, start the um, installation of our new members and reappointed members that are here today. So Deb, if you wanna take that over. Sure, uh, I'll, I'll do that. Um, welcome Karen and Bill. I don't think I have Justin on the Zoom meeting. And then also uh, reappointed would be Jeff and Ted and Bo Deaton. So if those folks would repeat after me um, the oath of office, I, and then say your names. Uh, Ted Eads. Uh, Jeff Johnson. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. swear. That I have that I have all the qualifications. That I have, I have all, all the qualifications. qualifications. Named in the charter of the city of Johnson City. Named in the charter of the city of Johnson City. Tennessee. 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 For, per, for performing my duties. For performing my duties. As a member of the Senior Center Foundation Board. As a member of the, the, of the Senior Citizen Foundation, Foundation Board. For the City of Johnson City. For, for the City of Johnson, Johnson City. City. Which duties I'm about to assume. Which duties are about to assume. And that I will support the Constitution. And that I will support the Constitution. Of the United States and of this state. Of the United States and of this state. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City. And the charter and ordinances of the city. Of the city. And that I will faithfully discharge, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office. The duties of my office. office to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Welcome. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Welcome okay. everybody uh, to the board. Uh, if we could take just a minute to um, introduce ourselves just a quick second so that everybody can get a little acquainted with everybody and then we'll get on with the meeting. Ted, we'll start with you, my dear. My, me? Yeah, Deb, go ahead. Okay, I am um, Deb Fogel and I am Senior Services Manager uh, of the Senior Center and I usually will be involved with all of these meetings. Glad to have everybody aboard and thank you for your servers. Thank you. Ted? Well, I'm Ted Eads. I'm a retired assistant fire chief in Johnson City. Um, been on the board for a few years. Love it. Love the people there and what we do. Looking forward to a new year in a lot of aspects. Looking forward to working with everybody and hope that everybody can participate and we have a great year. Thank you. Bill Alvis, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Sure. I'm Bill Alvis. Um, I'm retired. I worked for General Shell for 42 years and now I just sell a little real estate on the side and play pickleball and feel like this is a great opportunity to have a service to give back to the community and looking forward to serving. Thank you for joining us. Lisa? Got to unmute. <laughs> so I'm Lisa Williams. I work at the Johnson City Public Library. Um, I'm involved with a lot of our programming for adults, and I was a dedicated user of Memorial Park Community Center <laughs> for, and hope to be soon again. Love the place. Thank you, Lisa. Jeff? Um, Jeff Johnson. Uh, been on the board three years, and we up for another three years, and uh, retired from uh, 
uh, 38 years at the engineering manager at CenturyLink, and I'm hoping for a, uh, a good year. And uh, this board supports uh, so many organizations and uh, does a lot of good work, and I uh, hope we continue to do so. Thank you, Jeff. Star. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Star Barto. Um, I am uh, retired from nonprofit work, live out here in uh, Telford, Tennessee, and uh, beginning the, my second year of my three year term on the board. And it's been a great experience. And uh, it's it's always been nice to be part of this group. So thank, thank you. you. Deborah. Hi, I'm Deborah Marshall Poland. Um, this is my fourth year on the board and I joined it because I'm an active member of the senior center and just was interested in being more involved. I'm a uh, retired registered nurse. So um, this has been a really great experience for me. Thank you, Dan. Barbara. Hey, I'm Barbara Block. Um, I'm retired from the Tennessee Department of Health. I worked as an environmentalist, but I'm not really retired because I have a boarding kennel um, that I board dogs, so I'm busy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I enjoy the community center and uh, the senior center, and I'm looking forward to getting back to seeing everybody in person, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thank you, Barbara. Karen? Hi, I'm Karen Pico. Um, I'm retired from uh, USDA's uh, food stamp program. Um, I've moved around quite a bit in the last couple of years until I ended up here where, where my uh, daughter and son-in-law and grandkids are. I've served on numerous uh, community and civic boards over the past 10 years, and I just saw this as another opportunity to continue serving. Thank you, Karen. Whitney. Hello, I'm Whitney Larkin. I work at State of Franklin Healthcare Associates. And I am, I guess this is my third year, beginning of my third year on the board. Um, and I kind of joined the group by way of happenstance for participating on the strategic planning and accreditation committee um, board for a, a short stint and then got acquainted and here we are. So I'm excited to serve with everybody and see what we have in store in creative ways for 2021 as we are still enduring a little bit of the COVID effects. Thank you, Whitney. Lydia. Hi, my name is Lydia Allen. And just like Star, this is my second year on the board and I enjoyed it tremendously and continue to enjoy it. And my heart is really with the Senior Center. I think you guys do so much for the community, especially your March um, food drive to those in need. I, I really have a heart for that as well. And I am willing to do whatever it takes to help the Senior Center be successful. Thank you, Lydia. Fred? Uh, I'm Fred Lewis. I'm a retired vice president at Northeast State Community College and first came on board uh, last year and uh, look forward to being back in the center when we can get it open back up. Thank you. And I'm Rebecca Hennessy, president of the foundation. I own uh, Hennessy Tax and Bookkeeping. i uh, been on the board for a few years, um, to say the least, and look forward to working with all of you and making this a successful year. So with that being said, thank you all for your time, and um, I will go ahead and uh, continue on the agenda with the approval of the minutes. If y'all could review those in your packet and uh, entertain a motion to approve. I can motion to approve. Thank you, Ted. Do I have a second? My second. Who was that, Deb? Thank you. We have any um, changes or corrections to the minutes or any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Since Teresa is out of um, on uh, business today, I will go ahead and do the treasurer's report. 
in your packet, you will find the financial report as of January the 28th, 2021. Of course, not a lot going on besides some money coming in for our um, Spring Forward campaign and our um, Fund Drive campaign. So, so far year to date, we've raised $10,746 for those. Um, our total expenses um, for the year. Oh, we do have some grocery cards here for 683.28 that's come in through the year. And then of course our money for the Washington County grant bringing our total revenue of 30,429.28 with our total expenses of 23,853.05 with a ending uh, net profit loss of 6,576.23 for our year to date. Um, we also have $225,044 in a penny in our um, ending fund balance for the year. If you look at the summary page. And does anybody have any questions about the treasurer's report that's in your packet? Rebecca, maybe you could uh, elaborate on a few of the items for the new members. Uh, may be confused on some of the things that we're doing right now. Um, right now we have two things going on. Um, well, a couple of things. We have the um, fund drive where we send out the letters every year um, to solicit funds to come in. We also have a flyer out for our spring forward, raising money to um, do 200 boxes to seniors in need in, in uh, the end of March, 1st of April. Um, and then we also had the grocery cards, where if you link your Kroger card to our organization, then they send us a percentage of your purchases back every um, quarter, and that costs you all nothing. It just is sent out to us. The Washington County money is a, a flow-through grant um, where we uh, support the programming for the um, senior center uh, programming, staff programming. So. That's the different sources of income that we have right now. And besides just regular memorial donations and, and things of that nature. Is that good, Jeff? Perfect. Thank you. Right. Hearing nothing else, we will um, send the treasurer's report over to the um, people for the auditors. On our old business, we have Spring Forward for Seniors. On the Spring Forward for Seniors program, of course, that let me get my dates up here on my computer so I don't tell you wrong. <clears throat> we will be packing boxes March the 24th, 25th, 26th. And we may have some evening um, and mornings available. We're working with Deb. Her church has um, offered to let us use their facility to um, facilitate the packing and delivering. So Deb will be working a schedule out for that. And we'll be asking for volunteers to help pack. And then we'll also be delivering the week of March 29th to April the 2nd. So if y'all would like to put that on your calendar, um, it is a very rewarding experience for the new members. Um, you might cry a little bit. It'll definitely touch your heart. Um, it, they're very grateful and it's a really, really rewarding experience to say the least. Deb, do we have a time on... Um, have you figured out that schedule yet or we still need to yeah, wait and I, send it out? I met with Cheryl and when I was at church the other night, I sort of looked at how we will set everything up. And I'm thinking for the Monday when we receive all the food in mm -hmm. that uh, we'll do that in the morning from nine to 12. And then on Tuesday, uh, we're looking at times for nine to 12. And I'm looking probably there'll be enough space for eight people. And then again, that Tuesday late afternoon from four to seven. So I get folks who are we're still working and want to. And then um, again, another eight. And I think one day may do it. And I'm going to see if we can't do a lot of our staff 
uh, go over on that Monday just to sort of organize because Donna's got to have to, you know, count everything as it comes in. Right. So get everything organized. And then if we need another day on the 26th, then um, I'm just going back through what, what we did last year and how long it took last year and still try to keep people safe and social distanced uh, when we're packing everything. Yeah. The So you're talking about the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not Monday, right? You're still saying the 24th, 25th, 26th. Isn't that a Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No, that's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. We're looking, I'm looking at the Monday, Tuesday, possibly. So change it to the 22nd, 23rd, oh. 24th. Yeah, because I think Donna was saying, but I'll double check on that. It'll it'll mainly be two days and maybe three if we need it. Okay. So we'll get that. Um, once they get that worked out, we will let everybody know um, so that you can put that on your calendars. Um, volunteers for um, delivering the week of the 29th. Are we still going to try to do that the whole week or do you want to do it in a couple of days since you've got to be over there, Deb? Um I hadn't really thought through on that one. It depends on how many volunteers we have in order to deliver okay. and how many routes we've got. Okay. So that'll be sort of dependent on that. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. So um, that's the general um, um, run for that time period. I encourage you that um, to please try to help us get some donations in or sponsorships. Um, Deb sent out an email with the flyer for everybody. Um, and then there's also a link, I believe I've seen on that, where you can just hit that link to donate. Um, so that is, um, I hit something on my We'll talk about that once we get to that point for the donation. So we've got, we got the spring forward uh, for seniors thing. So uh, you got the flyers, please try to help us um, raise some money for that. Does anybody else have any questions about the spring forward? And I guess for the new members um, that don't know, what we do is we come up with a list of perishable or non-perishable items and then um, paper goods and stuff they can't buy with food stamps and uh, detergents uh, to wash their clothes, their dishes. Um, sometimes we have hygiene items, different things of that nature um, for them to um uh, that we put in the boxes. So there'll be toilet paper, paper towels, unless we run into like last year and we have a shortage, but um, of that. So a little bit of everything in that box. So uh, then we deliver them to the people. They are screened through Missy, who is with the FTAA A and D. And um, so they all are pre-screened um, for qualifications for the program. So does anybody have any questions? Okay, so we'll move forward with the cell phone update. Um, I'll let Deb do that since she's the one that's um, collecting those. And if you give us an update on that, please, Deb. Sure. We presently, I presently have 91 phones. I'm waiting to get to 100 before I send this first box off. And we'll send them to the um, companies that's going to be recycling them. And what they'll do is refurbish them and then put them out on the global market. Uh, if they can't refurbish them, then they will take pieces, parts, metals off of them. And then, so it really depends. We could get up to $30 a phone, but it really depends on the make, the model, and the year. I'm getting quite a few <laughs> older phones, those flip phones. If you hadn't seen them in a while, I've got them. And um, so I'm waiting to get 100 before I actually uh, get a packing slip to send those off. I'm not sure right now what we might get back, but that'll be dollars that'll go toward the spring forward. I uh, have sent out uh, to all of our team members, if anybody has any personal phones, if you want to put it on your um, Facebook pages, or if you know family members that have old phones, just take all the data off of it if you can, or remove the SIM cards, but they will flash them um, before they refurbish them. Thank you, Deb. Um, golf tournament update, I'll give you that real quick. Uh, we are looking at, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Bo has to, uh, agreed to be the golf chair, and I think Ted's going to help him if he gets his strength back up here and can help. Um, 
it'll probably be later on in this year um, since we're already into February. A uh, tournament in April is probably not going to happen, um, but get a tournament going later in the year. So uh, anybody that's interested in working on the golf committee, please let us know. Um, so that is a go. We just need to get with Bo and get some uh, meetings set up and get us a committee together so we can get that running. So, Rebecca, I'm meeting with uh, Bo next week. I talked with him yesterday and I'm meeting with him next week and I'm not sure um, and if Ted is uh, feeling better or can, uh, we'll meet with Ted just sort of to get some specifics down because we really need to get it some times on the Pine Oaks right now. Pine Oaks has given us a fee of $23 green fee cart fee at Pine Oaks. So I need to get a date or two on their calendar before they start filling up and should have more specifics um, by the March meeting. Yeah. And that's for a, a minimum of 72 players at that. That's correct. We do need to fill, yes. the, fill the course. So uh, at least with 18 play with 18 uh, teams. So if we can get more than that, I've, they're limited on the number of golf carts I think they have. But besides that, that's that's about the only other thing that we would be looking at. So we've got a couple other things that I asked Jim to check in for us. So we'll get that going once the golf committee's up and running. So um, hey. anything else on that, Deb? No, if anybody is interested in serving on that committee, just let them email me. You can put me on there. Okay, new business. Excuse um, me, can I interrupt a minute? Yes, ma'am. Regarding the cell phones, I just want to clarify, you don't want the chargers or anything or the, any accessories, correct? That's correct. Okay, and I just think the idea phones. to put it to our Facebook friends is a marvelous idea. I think we can collect a lot more that way. Yeah, they just need to know that um, essentially Monday through Friday, I'd like to do probably another week or two at this, I don't want to get stuck where I, I have to have at least 50 phones in order to send, um, but I don't want to get 23 phones in and then I don't have enough phones to send. I'm not sure how long this will run with them. I don't know if this is ongoing for them. I just noticed it on our national um, accreditation um, that we're accredited with that um, this was a fundraiser for those facilities that are accredited. So I just don't want to have phones sitting over here and I don't have anything to do with them. So I'm trying to get those fairly quickly that we uh, we get those turned in. Thank you, Dan. Um, under new business donation week, March the 1st to the 7th, um, I believe it was Ted or Char Charlie that came up with this idea, I believe, um, sort of off of the Crumley House where they sort of idea they had about donation day and and their auction so Deb would you like to explain to them how this will work through the city yeah I we have active net as one where we can use a credit card in order to pay for a facility pay for a program and sign up so I have actually put a donation tab in active net now with that being said that goes through the parks and rec website and my challenge is, is that there's nothing that you see except for donation tab. It doesn't automatically take you to spring forward for seniors or the foundation. You have to go through and set up an account. And so there's about four screens you have to go through before you actually hit the donation page, which we think may be a deterrent, but um, I'm trying to work through, I've talked with James Ellis to see if we can't skip some of those steps. And then also I've talked and put a request into Janet Jennings to see if we couldn't just do for this one time time that we have a donation spot on our, our um, the foundation web page that you don't have to go through all these steps. But I haven't heard back from that yet. But right now we are, it doesn't go live until March 1st. Um, so even if you try to go in and click on that, I've sent you a flyer and that's a flyer we can put on our Facebook page. You can put on your Facebook page, um, but don't do that just yet until I work all the fine details out. Um, but that doesn't go live until March 1. So if you click on it, 
and you go all the way through to the donations, you're not going to see the foundation donation tab until it actually goes live. Um, working through there, some of those things. Yeah. Is there a way we could also, you know, say that if they wish, they can uh, mail their check to the center? Yeah, I think they have that. It's on there on that sheet also. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that? And that's the flyer that's attached to your um, to the packet that came on the email. Okay. All right. Now we'll move to our action item. Um, our action item: Our directors and officers indemnity and liability insurance is up for renewal. Um, we did receive three quotes um, from Philadelphia Insurance for 1035, from Amtrust for 975, and from Westchester Ace for $614. Um, we believe that the Westchester Ace would be our best um, decision on this based on they have the same bond rating as Philadelphia, um, and it's a much lower price, and we just need a... if. If anybody believes that is what we need to do, we need a motion and a second. If you think that's the best rate and that's the best plan, I'll make a motion that we accept it. Second, second it. Thank you, Jeff and Deb. Any other discussion on that? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Any other information items, Deb? No, but Rebecca, I need you to fill out, I need you to sign some forms for that Westchester. So when you get a chance, so I can get that over to Josh. Okay, I might, I, I'll give you a holler if I can't come by today. How's that? Okay. Right. Um, I really I really don't have any other items for information. Um, still not sure when the center may open. Um, numbers still have to keep coming down and more folks need to get vaccinated. So hopefully we'll be here within not the near to future, but I don't, I can't give you a date. And we're still on hold for accreditation too, correct? We're still on hold for accreditation. Okay. Uh, right now it's moved through. We are accredited until May. Um, if I find that in say April, we're not gonna be open, then I'm gonna reach out and see if they won't extend that. Um, they can do a virtual one, but we really have to be open or at least classify somewhat that we're being open. And right now just having congregate um, really doesn't classify as being open. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else anybody would like to uh, add to the meeting today? And hearing nothing, thank you all for your day. Thank you for your time. Thanks to the new members. We greatly appreciate it. And um, let's get some money for the Spring Forward campaign. Ted, I hope you get to feeling better. And uh, we, will, we will see you all at the next one. Thank you. Yeah. As soon as and I get, every, as soon I as I get everything you. worked out with the um, donation week, I'll send that out. Okay. Do I have a so motion to Do I have a motion to adjourn? Sorry. I move. What I was doing here, Lisa. Do I have a second? Second. Who was? Oh, that's Lydia. Okay. All uh, right. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>